Hey hi everyone, Phil here. Today we're looking at probability of unions. So consider these two events, UE1, E2. We have proved such a thing in the past and this result is very familiar to you because you see it even in a basic course in statistics. Today we're going to do part two of this question which extends this result to three variables. At the end I'm going to give you the general formula for probability of unions for any finite n number of events. And such a thing is called the uh, inclusion-exclusion formula. So we're doing the inclusion-exclusion formula for the case of three, three events. Uh, this exercise gives us practice in uh, manipulating set operations. We're going to need two of them. I've written them down here already associativity and the distributive law. So associativity is when you combine all these events with the same operation here being union just means that it doesn't matter how you group them A, B or B, C. When we've got a mix of uh, operators here being union and intersection then we've got here the distributive law. You can verify both of these using a Venn diagram. Okay guys, so let's go. Sorry, my pen is a bit sticky so it looks all a bit wobbly in my writing. So part two it says extend the result from one to prove which we've proved already in a different video. Right, result one involves two sets. We can turn this three sets into two by just grouping any of the two. So we'll just take one union two to be one set. Let's call that A. Then what we want to find is this probability A union E3 is the same as this. But we can also use the result from part one. Right hand side, so that's all I've done here. Written that right hand side. The bit in blue is I've applied result one again to probability of A. So far, so good. This final piece here requires more thinking about. So let's work it out. Now this thing is equal to this by the distributive law. And guys, when you've got a lot of notation, it's a good idea to make some substitutions because the more, the longer and longer expressions become, the more you have to write down and that increases the chance of making an error. So I'm just going to call this set A and this set B. So then apply result 1 again. That's just this again. So you see how many times I've applied it now. And then come, let's just call this result cross and this one star from above. Then we we'll just substitute this now into here. And this is my result. Done. So Again, just to make my answer more compact and easy to look at. So I've got this minus that min plus this, which is, this. so some of the probabilities minus all the pairwise intersections plus the intersections of all three events. Now you can imagine repeating this for, instead of three events, four events, five events, six events, okay? So I hope I've expanded your mind here that a lot of your courses, you we all see this result. Some of us have just seen this result of three events, but in general, we can do it for a finite number of n events. So let's just show you this result. It's called the inclusion-exclusion formula. So add the individual qualities together. Then you minus all the pairwise intersections, then plus, and then you repeat that for three events plus four minus four and so on until you get to the final term which is probability of intersection of all the events and then whether it's a plus or minus sign depends on whether n is odd or even okay so anyway the sequence goes as series goes as follows add everything minus intersections double intersections uh, intersections of any yeah two events plus and then it'll be um, intersections of three events, combinations of, and then it will be minus 
and you get the idea so it alternates between pluses and minuses and that's why when I wrote up here you've got a plus here starting off with a plus then you've got a minus a series and then plus and then some, some probability there at the end okay so that was a nice question that's two done uh, three also looks like an interesting one so I'm going to do that in a separate video see it's slightly more marks as well okay guys like share comment